Good morning. Um, today is July the 2nd, which is my birthday. Thank you very much. And I uh, thought I'd give you a quick update on what's been happening with the vegetables. Um, starting with the tomatoes, which uh, there's 26 plants here and they turned into triffids. I keep having to move them apart and uh, as soon as I move them apart they dive into that space. Um, but looking very healthy. Um, Here's the, uh, the salad area. Um, some of this has gone to seed, really. You can see some of the endives are getting a bit long, um, but there's some, still some nice salad crops here that we've been using. And I've just got the bits out of the mini granny house for watering this morning. So, uh, starting at the end, um, these are alpine strawberries, which I planted um, last weekend, so I haven't done very much yet. Um, pak choy, which is coming on. Uh, leeks, which I guess are probably getting ready to be planted out, but I'm uh, waiting for some space to put them in at the moment. Um, some chilies, which we planted. Uh, this is a mini cucumber, I think, which came from Lindy, which has got the cucumber on it, which is nice. And some more chilies that came from Lindy that are looking very healthy and flowering well. If we go over to raised bed, Number three, start with the dwarf French bean, which I'm not quite sure that it knows it's supposed to be a dwarf French bean because it's heading for the ceiling. And uh, there is cabbages and bits and pieces in here. Most of this is supposed to be purple sprouting broccoli, I think. As I said last time, I'm not very good at labelling, but I think that's what it is, but it isn't looking very purple and it isn't particularly sprouting. But anyway, got a nice cabbage coming on down here and behind this end, we've got the beetroot coming through as well, um, which is probably uh, not enjoying being uh, covered, but there's nothing I can do about that at the moment. Past the washing line, and over to uh, broad beans, which have uh, all started coming out. And the bizarre thing is I planted these several weeks apart, but they all seem to have just come out exactly the same time. It doesn't seem to make any difference when I planted them. Um, garlic, looking very uh, strong. I'll have to look up when I'm supposed to be taking this out because I don't know. And then this is kind of um, the area that's kind of suffered a bit. Uh, we we're supposed to have radishes in here um, and onions and bits and pieces, but none of that's done particularly well. And I pulled some of it out, and I think this is where I'm going to put my leeks in, and I put a few more bits and pieces out. More broad beans, again planted later, but still coming through at the same time. Um, then we've got the wonderful uh, courgettes, which just keep going. This is a great plant. Loving these. Both of them are doing very, very well. And we've got the uh, cucumber here. The, this one's doing. Uh, quite well it's got some they're small and again I'm not quite sure when I'm supposed to pick those so I'll have to look on the internet for that um, and we've used quite a lot of uh, the lettuce out of here but it's it's still as you can see going to seed a bit or quite a lot um, over to the strawberries um, and this hasn't really been a particularly successful crop I think we've probably had quite a few strawberries come through and I think the birds have had them because I certainly haven't been picking them and uh, but they've been going quite successfully so I'm going to see if I can have a few today and I think that might be the only lot I'm getting because I had some before but not many and I kept waiting for them to come through but I think the birds have been taking them anyway I'm now off to celebrate my birthday in Norwich hope you have a good day bye bye